You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past. Maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I am Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start recording, but I'm going to I'll edit all this at the end and make it into a nice video and probably upload it tonight. If that's OK. okay. You started watching the with the Magic Mesa series. Yeah. When did you start to uh, make that video? I cannot remember about two years ago. Yeah, that was probably three years ago, right around then. Yeah. What was yeah, it about that series? Was it the, the stone circles or the petroglyphs that that caught your attention? Which stone circle? There's down in the down in the valley. There's oh, the you uh, mean mag magic um, ma magic mesa. Yes, magic at the magic mesa. Uh, how? Uh, what's the story? Of, what's a Native American theory about that one? Yeah, so they have the medicine wheels down in the valley. There's one down in the lower valley, and it's shaped like a wagon wheel. So there's a stone circle like almost like Stonehenge with these rocks that are put in a big circle and then a smaller circle in the center. And then there's spokes coming off that go north, south, east, and west. And then on top of the mesa is another stone circle up on top uh, to the west of there, up on top of the mesa. And they would do the ghost dance ritual where the tribe would hold hands and they would go clockwise around the stone circle and they would sing and dance and the shaman would stand in the center and he would face to the north and look at the north star and the big dipper going around the north star like the uh would make like the swastika you know uh -huh. the, the whole spiral in the north in the north star and the ceremony was a time travel ceremony or it was to like protect the people and the land in the future from being destroyed by technology and things. And so they were the shaman. The legends are that he would disappear and travel and time travel into the future or go to other locations and reappear and all of that. And so there was a, a shaman in Nevada named Wavoka that was doing all of this back in the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, even just recently. and But it was going clear back into the ancient cultures in this area. And I found all the evidence uh, that it was happening over in China as well at the same time. Like they were doing the, uh, the pace of you, I think it's called, where they would go around circles for the North Star. And it was, they were doing the same thing in asia it's just amazing to me um um i've never heard of that uh, they had a ceremony in china yeah yeah i'm gonna i'll see if i can find the link and i'll send it oh, to you and yeah. i'll put it up on the screen and everything when i edit this all together and upload it so people can oh. see but yeah there was a whole uh it was like emperor you and the paces of you or something like that um, i might be saying it wrong but yeah they would go around in a in a circle in a spiral and it was the same thing it was supposed to be with the north star and the rotation of the universe and they and it was said that it would time travel in fact when i first started going to the magic mesa and looking at the petroglyphs i thought that it was telling the story of that um, mm -hmm. um emperor that that shaman over in china i didn't realize that it was even a thing that was happening among the native americans at the time i didn't know about the ghost dance so i figured all that recently you but, mean yeah. the, the native american shamans was able to do their uh, time traveling that's the legends they said that they were controlling the weather and time traveling they would disappear from inside the stone circles and it reappear in different places. And the legend is that they were doing it all the way, all around the world. 
that this was happening everywhere, like they were teleporting or time traveling. Wow, they can travel to the past or to the future, right? Through these ceremonies. And I, I wonder if that's why some of these petroglyph sites have these like paranormal activity and things that occur is because that the energy of those rituals is in those places, you know, and maybe there's something real to it. I don't know. Yeah. When you, when you are at these sites, can you feel the, uh, can you feel the energy? You've been to so many sites, right? Yes. At Magic Mesa, I, one of my first big experiences was when I went to the petroglyphs that are up on the cliff. You said you've been there, right? So you've seen mm -hmm. those. And I stayed after dark and I stayed like until three or four in the morning. And I had like a whole experience where I saw these shadow figures moving between the boulders and it looked like fireflies moving around, like little lights coming in and out of the rocks. And then I had like a whole vision that was like a very Native American themed where I saw all my ancestors and I went through this whole initiation thing. It was like, it was like I was in a dream, but I was still awake, but I couldn't, I couldn't stop the dream from happening. I couldn't get out of it. I was just seeing it, but it was like I was in front of this big fire, like a bonfire. And there was this drumming sound like, boom, 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 like this drumming going on. Like there was native American drumming mm -hmm. and, um, this whole experience happened where it sounds really crazy, but it was like I was cooked in the fire, like a sacrifice or something, but it didn't, it wasn't painful. It was like a, a purification thing. And it was like I was cleansed in the fire and pulled out of the fire again. And then I saw all my ancestors through time, uh, back to the beginning of time, like this whole vision. And I was just like shown and taught some things. And the next thing I knew, I was like, back there sitting on the rock again uh and looking around at the in the dark you know <laughs> so yeah it was like a whole experience that changed my life quite a bit and that's a big reason why i go to these places and try to understand what they mean and what happened to me yeah yeah the first time i was standing in front of the uh patrick side i felt so strange you know i cannot tell the feeling it's not fear it's not excitement. I just feel like all the hair on my back stood up, you know, and that voice in my mind that, that uh, was telling me that you have to do research on this. You have to do research on this. It's so weird. You, you felt know? that energy. Yeah. It's almost I mean, like a pull. Yeah, like yeah, a... yeah. Yeah. I can feel the energy. I can feel something different. Yeah. I feel that every time I go. And even when I don't know that there's petroglyphs there, when I'm looking for ones that I haven't found yet, sometimes I know that I'm getting close to finding some because I get that feeling. I start to get a strange feeling like up my neck and in my spine and in my chest. And I go, ooh, yeah. like I feel like yeah, I'm close. Exactly. I feel like, I was the same. like someone's yeah. watching me or something. And then I yeah. look a little bit closer and there they are. You know, it's like a, the energy speaks to you yeah. yeah i never i i never feel this way but the the first every time i i, I was uh at a site a particular site or asian site i have this this feeling it's it's hard to describe but uh, i can feel it for sure that's amazing so v you've been all over the place how do you pronounce your name first of all i want to make sure yeah v, it's, it's, it's yeah it's correct v? Yeah, you pronounce okay. it correctly. yes so how did you get started in all this? You you speak, uh, do you speak more than one language? You speak yeah, English, I, I, amazing. I'm, a, I'm a from China. I'm from China. Uh, I came over here for, for the graduate um, school first. Mm. Um, I had a master's degree. Um, I got it uh, from a very prestigious university in China. I, I have a, a master's degree in history. Um, but the, 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 the degree I, I've got here in American has nothing to do with history, but I, have, I do have an academic background and I do um, um, have the training, okay, from a very prestigious university in China in history. Um, I, I've been outside the academic 
in research or study stuff for a long time because I left China, okay? I come over here to the US. But I, 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 in my spare time, I'm always into the, you know, the topics of Asian history, mysteries of um, all, the, all the stuff, you know? So I, I just happened to uh, watch some videos talking about Native American, strange Native American petroglyphs like uh, aliens look like a uh, UFO look like, uh, you know, um, um, particles. So I had the impression that, oh, there are some, uh, you know, particles here in the US. That's all, okay, it's, it's many years ago. But um, I happened to watch a YouTube channel, it's called uh, 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 Storytelling, uh, something like a, a Storytelling by Alex, okay? Alex mm -hmm. is like, a, um, um, he, his channel is only about petroglyphs. He travel along the Southwest America, so um, film these petroglyphs. Okay, so I just oh, I didn't know there were so many petroglyphs in the American Southwest, right? Um, then I, I started my traveling in the national parks uh, in Southwest. So the first time I encountered uh, petroglyphs in person. I just told you, right? I it, it I feel so weird, you know. The, I it's so hard to tell this. It's it's very very hard to describe the feeling, but it it, it feels. You know, I never feel this way, okay? And the voice in my in my in my head tell me, oh, you have to do something. You have to do something. You know, I feel I feel the the call. You know, so then I I studied. I I, I made a decision. Um, January last year, January 2023, I said, oh, I have to check out, check out all these sites. If I am able to get access to these sites, I will go there in person, check one by one. So the first site, I, uh, not, not the first site, when I was traveling in the National Park, I, I've been to many petroleum sites, but that wasn't on purpose. That's just by accident, okay? Yeah. Uh, I, I started to do uh, started to do it on purpose is uh, January 2023. Okay, I started to do this all these uh, road trips. So from then on, the first step was uh, a national monument uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay, mm. so I I, I I went there. Um, so on three days later, I already left that site. I was uh, in Utah uh, checking on another site. I think it's like um, Sago Canyon. I, I don't know I, if I pronounce the name. Yeah, correctly. Sago Canyon. That's Sago actually Canyon, up yeah, near, yeah. kind of near Skinwalker Ranch. Yeah. Yeah, that day I was already in Sago Canyon. I left Albuquerque already. Uh, then I, because I was on Twitter, uh, I, I I followed uh, I followed uh, uh, a guy who who's uh, uh, who has a YouTube channel. Okay. It's, uh, incredible history, okay, and mm -hmm. also uh, etc. So he showed a he showed a picture with uh, a patch of leaves and uh, says, uh, which says, oh, there are some Asian Chinese characters in this patch. Leaves. That one is exactly at at the site I just visited in Albuquerque, the National Monument. I thought, what? There's some Asian Chinese characters in the American patch. Leaves. I just went to this side uh, three days ago. Why didn't I see this one? Then uh, he uh, told me that, oh, this one was protected, uh, is protected. You cannot see it because there is a line. The, 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 the National Monument, they put a line. Okay. So that one is behind, behind, it's up on the hill. Okay. It's hidden, so, right? Yeah, it's hidden. So yes. this is why I, I went there. I didn't see this one. I said, what they're Asian Chinese? Oh, it's unbelievable. So said, so, oh, this uh, this uh, this scholar, uh, Dr. Russ Kemp, wrote a book. He told me, I I, I purchased that book. I read that book. Okay, um, so I, I was still, you know, I after the first time after I uh, read the book, I I still 
don't think that they are, you know, Asian Chinese, because Asian Chinese are very different from modern Chinese. The, 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 the writing evolved through thousands of years, okay? So if you are not a scholar or who, who uh, specializes in the, uh, in the Asian Chinese characters, you don't know, you cannot recognize it. Yeah. So, uh, although I, I, I majored in history, but uh, that's not my expertise. So I, I, I'm, I'm still um, not sure, okay? Uh, I'm uh, like um, on, the, on, the, on the fence, okay, at, at that time. So I think I, I need to, I, I need to do, uh, and then, then that guy, because he's writing a book, he, he needs to uh, hear um, the voice is from both sides. Okay, so since you have the language background, can you tell me for sure you agree with him or not? I said, no, for now, I cannot, I not, I, I cannot um, tell you I agree or not. I need to do more research. So I, cause the, the lucky thing is recent years, there are some uh, uh, Sound Dynasty's uh, scripts databases, they've, they've developed, okay. Uh, uh, some universities developed their uh, the database. So, uh, for example, if you feel like oh this this word, uh, this character may look like the, this modern character, you type this modern character, you can find that it's a uh, you know it, 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 uh, it's form in Sun Dynasty. Okay, so so I just type one by one. So uh, for for the for the for the one with Sun Dynasty king's titles and the, the sacrificial ratio that one um i just feel like oh i can see two king's titles and um, more uh interestingly they are not only two ti uh, king's titles but also father and son's titles and the father mm -hmm. with father's father's title on the top and the king's titles at the bottom at the corner i said this is not a coincidence how can you find that Boulder with all Sun Dynasty's characters on that, and not only, not only this, but also with two king's titles uh, in the patri on the on the same boulder with father and son titles on that. This they couldn't be a coincidence. Too too many coincidences are not coincidence, right? Right. And, oh, I, yeah. I I I need to go there another for another time. I, I need to check if they came over. Uh, uh, if Sun Dynasty people. Came over here, visited here, uh, inscribed the uh, the petroglyphs here. They they wouldn't only inscribe this, this a little bit, of, you know, on this particular border. And there must be more at the same site. Then I went there for the second time. I found uh, um, uh, other borders with uh, with uh, other four king, not four, um, other two kings titles because this border with two kings titles, the father and the son. And, uh, and another two boulders, I find the, uh, the grandfather and the uncle's titles. They are, they are, they are four kings in the cloister lineage. They, they, they could, this is not coincidence, right? In New Mexico too, right? Yeah, in New Mexico. <laughs> then, then later, later, the second time, I think uh, this is January last year, okay? Then the, my second trip is, uh, I cannot remember, maybe it's March. March the next year, I, I started my second trip. So I visited some, some sites in Nevada and the south, southern Utah. So in a site, uh, this, this, this site is in between. Uh, it's quite on the border uh, between ne uh, Nevada and Arizona along the Colorado Little River, okay? And by the uh, freeway at like 40, mm -hmm. I think. So. I went there. Oh, I, I, so so this this place there no nobody ever mentioned the, their uh, sound analysis scripts. Okay, so in Doctor Russ Kemp's uh, book, he mentioned a few uh, suspect uh, 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 um, a few ancient Chinese characters, but the, in his book he, ne he never mentioned their sound dynasty characters or kings uh, titles stuff like that. So I went there, I found, oh, wow, oh, the exactly the same four king's titles, same as the, the one in, in New Mexico, in Albuquerque, but this one is in Nevada. Exactly Clear in Nevada, the same, the, the same names and symbols in same, Nevada? Yeah, same king's titles, same, king, same four king's titles, exactly the same, 
uh, uh, case wow. titles. But uh, this one is in Nevada. Not only, um, I, I, I found not only uh, the same uh, King's titles, but also the, the character like Miss King. Uh, in Chinese, it's pronounced as Wang, meaning king. And also another character meaning, uh, uh, pronounced as Huang, meaning royal, meaning empire. And uh, uh, another one is exactly the, their surname, the king's surname. No way. So, uh, not only king's titles, but also Sam Chang Sang Dynasty characters related to sacrifice and domination, and also exactly the character king, the character royal, the character, their surname in the Patriots. How that can be a coincidence, right? It's, so a, it's I, impossible. They don't. It doesn't fit in with what we're taught in history and the way <clears throat> that all fits, that they were over here, they traveled over here, were trading or communicating. You're saying it even says they were doing some kinds of sacrifices as they traveled around and and, and ceremonies as they went. Um, in China, we have a very ancient book. It's called Shanghai uh, Jing uh, in Chinese, which means... Uh, um, the uh, the classic of mountain and uh, rivers. Okay, if uh, literally, uh, if I translate into English, literally. Okay, um, it's said this book was written at least uh, about four thousand years ago. Okay, four thousand years ago. But this book is not talk about uh, uh, Chinese geology. This book uh, uh, talks about the the the, uh, the worldwide the worldwide geology. You know, so there is a book written by American um, researcher. Um, this book, uh, I still have the book, book but the, so this book uh, was written in 19, 1960s, okay, by American research. She read this Asian Chinese book. She said, I think this chapter is about uh, uh, the, the, the mountains in Mar American Southwest. So she thinks that chapter uh, describes the mountains and the rivers between California and New Mexico, you know. So she yeah. checked, she checked, uh, for example, in this Asian Chinese book, it said that from this mountain to this mountain, this is how far, how many, you know, inches of feet, you know, uh, miles between. So she checked in person, she finds all the mountains between California and New Mexico exactly match what's described in that Chinese Asian book. So she, her, her theory is Asian Chinese people visited America at least 4,000 years ago. Sound Dynasty was uh, uh, 3,600 years ago, two, 3,000 years ago, between, between uh, 3,600 uh, and uh, two, 3,000 years ago, Sound Dynasty. That dynasty was even earlier than Sound Dynasty. So her theory is uh, Asian Chinese people visited America at least uh, 4,000 years ago. So they, they merged the land, they marked the, the rivers, uh, main rivers and mountains in the American Southwest. So so the the so the geology described in this Asian book exactly match the petroglyphs I I found because the the one um, one side in, is in Nevada, the other side is in New Mexico. Exactly match uh, the the mountains they 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 described in the Asian Chinese book. V, if you have any any pictures or images or anything that you can show us, we can even pull those up and I can present them as. Oh, well. I, I I have many, but I don't know. <laughs> Let me try. So that's if okay. I, I, I search it on uh, uh, Google. Can yeah, um, even if uh, if you have a, you I do I have. But yeah, you have. I'll showcase your YouTube channel as well. You've been doing a lot of like awesome videos about it. That's. The, the ones that you've been, uh, uh, this one here. I, that... try, uh, I just email you uh, this one. If you give me the, your email address. Cool. I will, I'll uh, send it to you in the off camera here in a text here. Or in a. Okay. But let me try to send your link. I don't think you need to, you need, you don't, you don't need to. Download it, which is. I might be doing something wrong. That's okay. Just let me try. 
I sent you in the DM in uh, X, okay? Okay. No, 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 I got the wrong one. This is Oh, you not... got it, okay. Yeah, I got the wrong one. I, I should send you the Sound Dynasty one. Oh, this shows the lineage and everything. Yeah, the lineage. Wow. How, when did you write this paper? This is amazing. I I uh, I started my investigation in January last year. I finished this paper at the end of Jan of June. I posted it early Ju July last year on academia dot uh, edu. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, this picture. You can screw. You can screw down. Screw down. Uh, I say stop. You stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I love even your your videos that you did all about how the squatting man. A lot of that we I want to talk about. Oh that yeah, we can too. talk about that. How, talk how about that, that relates too. to Orion and everything. Yeah, because I, I I bet you have seen lots of that images too, right? A lot of that, yes. Yeah, that made that. a lot of sense to me. I was like, wow, that really. This all just blows my mind so much, B. This is so cool that you've been doing this work. And that you've been drawn and my mind too, because you know the Sun Dynasty scripts excavated the, uh, from the last capital in China. It's it won't it only dated the um, uh, three thousand two hundred years ago because it's uh, it was made in late Sun by the oh yeah yeah we stop here we stop here okay but we we see the 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 one circled in red. This is the uh, fourth Sun Dynasty king's title. Okay, uh, uh, the the one circled uh, in green uh, is the sixth Sun Dynasty king's title. They are father and son. So the one in red is father. The one in green is son. Uh, so so all the other all the other petroglyphs can be matched with uh, uh, Sun Dynasty characters. Not only uh, those characters, but also the two king titles, and they happen to be father and the son. So, Carl, you you've been uh, lots of uh, uh, Patrick sites. You've seen, I think, tons of uh, Patrick already. So, let me ask you a question on this particular board, except for the turtle symbol and the cross symbol. All the other Patrick's, have you ever seen any of them in any other places? You've been to so many places. This one here looks very, very familiar. The one circled in black. This, the one in blue. Uh, this one here is very common with the line. This, I've, I've seen variations of this all over the place. This one really? here, I've seen this, different versions of this all over the place. I was told that there were certain types of these that they depicted moccasins, but I've seen this one a lot. Yes. What, what, what are these marks? marks? Uh, the moccasins are the shoes that Native Americans would wear, the skin shoes, the leather shoes. But these are oh. not, this is this makes way more sense. This is in Chinese character. This is the depiction of a bronze bell. Oh. See, I've I've seen ones like this in Nevada. You, you do you have that picture? Um, yeah, I will have to look for it. It's in the it's over in the Del Mar Valley near Area Fifty One. Whoa, really? Yeah, by Mount Wilson Ranch, where I've been researching. There's there's some that look kind of like this. Man, I, I, you know, when I don't know what I'm looking at, to me, they just, they don't, they just are oh, symbols, I, I, you know, I don't, I'll have, remember. I'm going to have to go back through and try to match them all up now, because this is, this is so amazing. I have a native, uh, a native, a book written by a Native American scholar. Uh, yeah. Oh, can, yeah. Can, can you say this clearly? Native American time. Oh yes, right. So let me show you here. It, it, this this book is written by a uh, Native American scholar. Okay, I think this. Uh, let me let me. Can you see it? Yes, can I can. Yeah. Name, okay. Lee Lee Francis. Yeah. Oh yeah. So according to this author, 
I found that they literally said, um, let me see. Yeah, here. They match our Chinese story legend exactly. Uh, let me try to move it here. Can you, can you read it here? Yeah. Can, can you read it? I lost you. <laughs> I, I'm here. Sorry. So yeah, they met the so they met the Hopi and the native. Oh uh, yeah, the, I, I would like you to read this uh, paragraph. The victorious the Nape continued their journey farther up the Yukon Valley. The Hopi and the other native peoples across Turtle Island. Oh wow. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me read. Yeah. Visited by the Cheng and Shu Hai, assistance of the great Yu, <gasps> the great Yu of China. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm saying. The pace yeah. of Yu. Oh my gosh. It has the same name in there. It's the same. Okay, now I have to find that link. <laughs> this book. That see. book is amazing. Okay. okay, it says it right in that book. Now we've got to find this uh, pace of you link. So, I think I assistance of the great you of China who had sent them to survey the world. You see that? This is why we have it, this ancient book, which, which is said uh, written in written uh, four thousand years ago. It said uh, three thousand to two thousand BC. You see that? It even says the great you of China. And yeah, I, and the. Uh, the, the timeline is uh, 3000 to 2000 BC, which is 5000 to uh, 4000 years ago. Exactly match our timeline in China. That is, and, and uh, at the Magic Mesa, when I went there with the, with the caretakers and the owners of the ranch, I told them, this was like two and a half years ago, I said, I think that the petroglyphs here tell the story of the Emperor Yu and the pace of you and the ritual going time traveling around the stone circles. I, I'm going to look this up and see if I can find it right now. I got to show you this. Yeah, that's Facebook. ancient Chinese book, Survey the World. Um, then they uh, wrote about uh, geology, around the uh, geography around the world, which is said, uh, which, which written under by the, which is uh, made under the order of Emperor Yu. This is the uh, strength bestowing ritual, the paces of you and the journey to the West, the pilgrims arriving in the lower India prefecture. It's and very our... late. It's 1592. It's even later than Columbus. So look, look, here's the what I was telling you. The pilgrim uh -huh. traced out the ground diagrams of the Big Dipper, the Big Dipper, also known as the North Dipper. And it was uh, also part of Taoism and the pole star. We were just talking about this, the the original rotation of the earth around yeah, the north yeah, star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. People try to interpret uh, the swastika as the yes. as the um, big deeper rotate around the north star. It's right here. This is the pace. So see, this is Ursa Major. This is the Big Dipper. Mm-hmm. And it rotates around the North Star, and they would do the pace of you around the stone circles. So, when here, I'll they'll keep going down through this. It all ties into the true sayings of the Om Mani Padme Hum, and all this. This is goes back into ancient ancient Buddhist rituals of time travel. To try and uh, stop the world from being destroyed from. <laughs> Who wrote this book? I don't know. I think it's amazing that we, you, 
found this came across the same things that I did, and I had no idea if this was correct or not. Because <laughs> clear back, I, what I I don't think this is hundred percent correct, but some something in there might well, be correct. Uh -huh. it, it might be when I go to my YouTube channel, go to Magic Mesa. Let's see. Well, that's a playlist. Which one is it here? So here is exactly where I'm talking about it in the presentation. So there's the, here's the stone circle down in the valley that's in the direction north, south, east, and west here. Mm -hmm. And there's another stone circle up on top of the mesa up here. Mm -hmm. And and in the ghost dance ritual that Wavoka would do, they would go in a circle and do the pace of you. They would mm -hmm. do the same ritual. And I even it's it's deep in the in the traditions and the symbols of the Navajo and the Hopi. This whole circle with the these directions is all part of their tradition. And so mm -hmm. I wonder if them connecting. Yeah, I it's uh, related to astronomy and uh, seasons because um, um, if the star in the sky changes, which means the seasons change, our solar terms change, right? So Asian people um, uh, deter determine the seasons and terms by observing the stars uh, change in the skies. So I, I think this this might be the question because you you see the cross in the center of the circle which divide it into two parts maybe the two seasons like spring fall summer and the winter and also um, maybe in alignment with uh, um, the celestial phenomenon that that happened in in the sky, which can indicate the seasons and the solar terms for the Asians. So, um, I think this this might be one uh, function of this uh, signs or symbols. It's so it's so incredible. I it, I think it could be the the connections here, at least the travel and the communication and the if if you traveled all the way through the midwest and the southwest or down through this region maybe they taught those rituals and they shared culture and those things stuck within the native american cultures and they continued on and became the ghost dance and other and other things as a part of these tribes it's very fascinating you know there uh, there is a egyptian god which high glyphs literally means uh, goose steps, the steps of goose. The steps of the goose, yeah. Where yeah. you, where you step. That's the way the whole uh, the pace of you. This one, the way that you oh, do. You told me. I it, this reminded me of this in uh, southern China. There is an ethnic group. Uh, they still have this dancing. It's called yubu, yubu dancing. The yubu, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. They, they still practice this dancing here to this day. Uh, there is a um, ethnic group in southern China, in Zhejiang province. I just, yeah, you just remember me that. This one here, yubu. Yes. The they pace still practice is, yubu. The paces of you and the steps of you are the mystic dance steps of the religious Taoism. This ancient walking or dancing typically involves dragging one foot after another. And is explained in reference to the legendary Yu the Great, who became lame on one side of his body from exerting himself while establishing order in the world after the Great Flood. So wow. how about the Native American dancing? They they also do their uh, step uh, uh, after another because they don't do uh, uh, the steps like this. They just one. They, they, the they way, yes, the way that here. they dance is the skip step and the same thing. Yes. Oh. Yeah, like if I if I went here and I said, Wavoka and the ghost dance, and we look the uh, prophecy of Wavoka. 
they would do a, a ritual dance around the stone circles and the shaman Wavoka would stand in the center while the whole tribe would do this shuffle step holding hands and drumming and they would go like in that that motion around in the circle around the stone circles Oh, it's this the, is you This is you it's the same Yeah they don't they don't move the two um feet like uh, alternatively no they always with one feet uh one foot uh, uh in the front with another fo uh, the other foot uh, uh follow the the, the 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 first one correct yes and the petroglyphs even at um magic mesa um i can i'll show those on screen when i edit this together in a little bit but the petroglyphs there at the main panel um they show a figure that is uh has bird feet the instead of normal human feet the feet are have three toes like a bird and the, a lot of the depictions are like that of a bird deity or shaman and the uh -huh. the pa the pace of you has to do with that shuffle step or the yubu like the the waddle uh because he was injured on the one leg and i even mentioned that almost two and a half years ago that I thought that that's what the petroglyphs meant at Magic Mesa, that they were about Can you show of... me that picture? Okay, I'll try. I'll see if I can look <laughs> it up. <laughs> Maybe I have that picture too. I'll go to my channel. We'll find it right now. This this is how it happens. We're figuring it out. Let's see. Where is it? Here we go. So here's stone circle. I think the, let's see, the petroglyph ones must be here. Here we go. That's him. Oh, I have this one too. See the bird, the bird feet and and toes uh -huh. and then the one leg is is shorter and injured and the other one is depicted as stronger oh yes so who, whose leg uh whose feet was injured shot shortened uh according to the legend so in the in the legend of yubu here uh -huh. <clears throat> it says that the legendary you the great uh -huh. You, the great engineer, it says that he became lame on one side of his body from exerting himself while establishing order in the world after the great flood. Wow, I've never heard of this. It says that it incorporated Yubu into rituals such as the Boogang and the Big Dipper, which is the Tower's priest, which would walk the nine stars of the Big Dipper in order to acquire that constellation's supernatural energy. And it says, oh. yeah, it says he became lame on one side of his body. Oh, lame. So this is the, the meaning of you here on down, down below. It said that it's walk, walk lame. It symbolizes to walk lame. Yeah. And then yeah, this is this lame. is the this is the paces depicted in the old text and how they did it. And it's the the uh, same symbols that match this whole stone let me back up here and this is all this whole alignment right here on the on the summer solstice i saw the, that video before yeah when the sun comes the up topic. here the, the light comes through here and then it all points up to orion and orion's belt oh you see the orion here i, I see the orion image here up there yeah so yeah, this would be like the bird uh, shaman. And I've even heard an archaeologist in a different video relate this to the bird shaman. But then he said that it had to do with Quetzalcoatl and the feathered serpent and, and that it had to do with Montezuma and things like that. But I And I was like, I don't think that's 100% correct, maybe. But 
Mount serpent, why they don't de uh, didn't depict it as a serpent uh, instead depict it as uh, like a bird <laughs> with three. Right. And <laughs> and there are there are other nearby canyons just a short distance away, like over in Warner Valley, that are very clearly like feathered serpent things and serpent lines, but this is all very different. Yeah, there is no serpent here on this boulder. Yeah, and this one here. Let's see. What's this? That one, that one right there looks similar to like this one here to me. The vessel? But maybe not. Or the animal. It's so hard to tell. But this, yeah, you've been here before though, right? This is I've, magic. I've, I've never been to this boulder. Well, we have to go now. Very hard to find, right? I was there alone. Nobody guided me, you know. So I have never reached that one. Well, you have to come visit and we'll go and film a video there together because that yeah. would be pretty cool to see if we could find Sang Dynasty. What, what does that mean? That's a cross sign? Yeah, some of these are like, notice how this is clear out on the ledge. Some of these mm -hmm. are like alignments and they point where to go and things but yeah this is like an upside down cross and mm -hmm. this one this one points clear up onto the other mesa where the other petroglyph boulder or the other stone circle is and this oh. i'm not sure what these mean but yeah yeah sometimes it's so hard to understand the, the petroglyphs the more you see the 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 oh this is the animal i'm not sure i don't know what that is there's all kinds I, of strange symbols yeah this one almost yeah. looks like a person falling down from the sky all kinds of stuff but yeah uh -huh. yeah we i i want to if we can get back to some of the ones that you found too mostly because i i think that's amazing though that like the the same sorts of ceremonies and rituals and symbolism in the in the area all seems to match. You I, have, know? I have a theory. I think the Asian the cultures around the world all related, all start from the same origin. Uh, in the Middle East, uh, maybe ten thousand years ago, then people spread around the world. So yeah. this is why they still carry the, the legend. Uh, the, the, they carry the symbols of uh, totems with them when they migrate to a uh, different uh, area on this globe. So this is why, so this is why my, my second article is, uh, talks about uh, all the, uh, you know, Asian, uh, common Asian cultural phenomena I found uh, here in America and also in Middle East, uh, in Indus Valley, Asian China and uh, Asian Egypt. Yeah, this one. And so you uh, the same theory like I agree with you this this symbol right here specifically is one that I've seen up at Dinosaur National Monument near on the edge of Utah and Colorado where uh near Skinwalker Ranch and there's figures right here and a spiral exactly like this same with the the hand with the extra finger and the foot with the extra finger with the spirals, mm -hmm. very common. This is, I see this all over the place, these symbols, yes. Tons of them. The squatter man. <laughs> and the squatter man. Yes, them, right? yeah, I always, I was always taught too that this was just a villager and that this, this meant that he was a male, like a boy, and that was actually his genitalia, you know, but your explanation of this being Orion and the belt of Orion in his motion makes so much sense to me. You see this one, the, the picture I, this one is uh, in New Mexico along the West Coast, uh, uh, just south of California, that picture I, the last one. This one? Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. You see people still offer sacrifice to this image, you know, these are down below, they are all sacrificed. So which means this is a deity for, for these people, right? They still offer sacrifice. So this one is uh, the picture G 
picture G is also because this image is put on top of this panel, you know. Yeah. So, so I don't think this is just a just a village, a, a village. <laughs> no. No. It's a deity to them because people still offer sacrifice to this to this uh, deity. Um, also in China, yeah, they put they put symbol on top of the entrance of the of the building of the house, right? This is not a villager. How could you put a villager image on top of the entrance of the of the building? That's true. Yeah, that's that's it right there, right? Yeah, this is it's a uh, uh, the the symbols uh, inscribed on the pottery excavated from Neolithic sites in China. Incredible! There it is. So this yeah. is not my theory. This is uh, uh, my favorite Chinese scholar's uh, theory. His uh, his uh, um, ex accountant is Dao Feichang. Okay, so he made a comparison between uh, Orion and Orion and the uh, Egyptian god Bess. And uh, yeah, when I when I see the best image, I was always wondering why they depict the flowers so vividly, right? Right. But why? It totally makes sense why, you know, and all of the symbolism, even with the horns and always having a staff made of energy or a bow in his hand and all of that that's moving. Yeah. All of that suddenly makes a lot more sense when you understand it through the, the especially these symbols. Yes, I see this a lot. The the man. This, 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 uh, uh, this, uh, 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 symbols inscribed on pottery excavated from uh, West Asia. Picture D. This one is? Yeah, pottery scripts. These are pottery scripts excavated from the West Asia in Mesopotamia. Wow. Because I, this yeah, is not I certain, uh, No, this is uh, from West Asia, from um, Mesopotamia. I wouldn't know the difference. I would think that this would have come out of a book from my backyard. Like no, it's in West Asia. Yeah, you, I, I've seen a lot of similarities between uh, the symbols uh, in West Asia and uh, this is Southwest American country. I think the, this, this panel is in Arizona. This one looks like Arizona, yeah. Uh, you yeah. see, they depict the flowers everywhere and with uh, one hand holding something, you know, sometimes a snake, sometimes a stick, sometimes a weapon. But all over the world, in Australia, in, in Sweden, in um, Britain, you know, everywhere. Yeah. So this, this is a this seal. Is well. Yeah, this is seal excavated from uh, uh, Tukumstan, the, the country, the West, also in West Asia, right the next, uh, next to China. In the, uh, this, I, I'm not sure if it borders China. Yeah, it borders China. West of China. This was this, right over by China? Because, like, again, this is like every squatter man this is symbol. Not China. This is the Tur uh, Turkmenistan country in the West Asia. Oh. But it's dated uh, 4,500 years ago. This is wow. a seal. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this is the, 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 the petroglyphs in uh, at Chaco Canyon, the uh, picture B. Picture A is a seal excavated from Turkmenistan. They did uh, 4,500 years ago. You guys see, you see the, the same side on the left and the same uh, side uh, on the right, right? Yes. Now let me see if I come back here. I wonder, there's some right behind my house. When when was the last time I went there? That was on that trip. I might have to go back too far. I'll check and and redo it. But there, I have some ex that look exactly like this, right behind my house, and they tell me, "Oh, those are Spanish treasure markers." I'm no like, way. these look. These look way more accurate to what you're describing. Some particularly looks very old, at least thousands of years old. How could that be Spanish marks, right? Spanish only 
was only here like five years, a hundred years ago, right? Yes. You see the the star the the star constellation of uh, Orion and the Taurus, and yes. the, the comparison between them and the relief and Gobekli Tepe. Have you ever heard of Gobekli Tepe? It stated like ten thousand years ago. Yes, Gobekli Tepe. Yeah, and all of those same symbols of the birds and the squatting man are all there too. Yes, there. Wow. You see, the, the, the picture one is a uh, relief uh, 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 found in uh, Harahan Taipei, which is very close to Gobekli Taipei in Turkey, okay? So I think this is the earliest version with uh, a person in between and two animals on both sides. So picture B is the Indus Valley Seal. Yeah, this is Indus Valley Seal. Indus Valley Civilization is dated between 5,000 to 3,000 years ago. So the uh, picture D is a powdery script uh, excavated from West Asia. It's amazing how it all fits uh, like this. Picture D and F are uh, uh, artifacts excavated from ancient tombs in China. Um, their, their tombs, uh, um, uh, they did uh, 2,000 years ago. This looks exactly like the symbols at Gobekli Tepe. These uh, squatting birds. Yeah, you see that this one looks like a, a, a rabbit head. Uh, the picture E, if you can zoom it in, you see the head looks like a rabbit, right? But yeah. The, you see very similar uh, image in the American petroglyphs. Very common, yeah, to have the right? the head yeah. the headdress With coming course. off like that. Uh, yeah. You see this? This is the South American one. Totally. I see these everywhere. Right? Yeah. yeah, very similar to the Chinese one. Fascinating. I just think that people they have an idea, but you've probably yeah. heard you've probably heard too, like a lot of people look at these ancient petroglyphs and they just say, Oh, that was just kids doing graffiti. No there was just ancient kids that were carving on the rocks for fun. And maybe they did a little bit. But when yeah. I I talk to you and I talk to people who know this stuff, it, it's way deeper than that. It's, it's way more co culturally interconnected and in how we're all related in the past more than we know, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe a little, a, a few of them are, are kids as graffitis, but uh, most of them are very meaningful, significant symbols for Native Americans. Yes. And they were made by maybe a lot of them were made by shamans because back then not a lot of people know how to uh, carve these symbols, you know. Yes. Uh, you see, see these? This, this symbol? Yeah, the, the, the leaves, you know. I see that. these everywhere. All of yeah. these. Are, yes. Everywhere here in the Southwest. So these are all the script, uh, powdery scripts excavated from West Asia. And the China. They had to have been traveling and trading and communicating. Yeah, for sure. Somehow. Mm -hmm. Incredible. You've put so much time and effort into this. See, I just go out. Last and year, yeah. Last year, I put so much time. <laughs> this is just mine. Okay. So I don't know. Boy. I don't know how many trips I, I made last year. Last year I, I did the trips on purpose for for the research. But the, the 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 year before last year I was just just, just travel uh, all of the national parks. I didn't do it, uh, do it on purpose. But starting from last year I did it on purpose for the research. Ah, oh, see, this is all of this sim symbolism is really. It deeply affects me because this is this is all things that I've been I run into this everywhere that I go and it has that yeah. that energy oh. behind it and that connection to it and the mystery and I feel like it is the secret that really brings us all together and sadly you know people have taken these symbols you see the the birds along uh, rotate rotating along the circle on this artifact which is excavated in europe in um italy I think. oh yeah look at that why right? the bird the bird uh, rotating around the circle here and the spirals and the whole yeah, so the, 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 
similar to the yubu dancing. Yes. It's amazing. You just mentioned the bird, the bird uh, feet, right? Then you see the bird, uh, you know, rotating along the circle on this artifact. Yeah, it's like they put it all into the meaning and the symbolism of what they were trying to teach. Yes, and this is all Mesopotamia. This this one on the relief from Mesopotamia, but the, the, the symbols on the on the left are all the symbol excavated from Neolithic sites in China. On uh, the the picture on the left. Yeah, the right one is uh, Mesopotamia, the Sumerian relief. Wow. And I can I can go to places at uh, a site called Little Black Rock Mountain that has these same these same star symbols like this carved into the rock there. Yeah, I've, I've here seen in U, here in on the edge of Utah yeah. and Arizona. You see this, you, you see here it's very interesting. Picture B and the C are uh, um, symbols excavated from the Neolithic sites in China. Okay, but you see the exactly the same symbol on that Navajo rocks. You know. The, the exactly the same. Navajo, yeah, Navajo rocks, Navajo. I think I think it's depictions, uh, depiction of, uh, uh, uh well, what's an Arturus? Yeah. Arturus, right? I, I pronounced it wrongly. It's the same symbols. Yeah, same symbol, right here on on Navajo rocks. It's so amazing. So you see the rotating bird, the, the rotating bird, let's see, picture A is uh, ex, uh, artifact ex, uh, excavated from China. Picture B is Native American Uchi people's uh, uh, logo, okay? So picture C is artifact excavated from uh, Europe. They are all depicting the rotating bird. And and the New Mexico state flag is, and the, the Zuni symbol looks like so similar to all this too same pattern the same uh come on zoom out here my mouse is going dead on me there we go yeah oh we see this one um a and b are native american symbol but the picture c is a symbol excavated from indus valley exactly the same right yeah with the crossing center and the eight uh, triangles along the cross, along the circle. This, this picture C is in the Spelly sign. Then D, E, F, or the Chinese, Asian Chinese uh, artifact. I, I think it, it, this evidence is just so substantial. I think it will be amazing. I, I really oh, want... I, 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 I took from your video. Do you, do you remember that? This one, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is it. This is what old. I was. This is what I was gonna tell you. Yeah. This is. Where the, is it? Which is the site? Where is the site? This one. Where is this site? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! This you one. It, right? I'm trying to remember where this one's at. This one seems like it's up. Uh, either it's Warner Valley. What? What is it in Utah? It's in Utah. Yeah, it's so down. So A O B O particulars in Yota. Uh, A is a, a newspaper. Uh, what is that? It's in no, newspaper yeah, rock. Moab, yeah, newspaper rock, yeah. But uh, picture C is a pictograph uh, in Santa Barbara. The, uh, the you you see this one, yes. right? Exactly the same. All the same, yeah. Wow. But you what? see the, the, the Chinese one and the Egyptian one is if you scroll down. So this this is the petroglyphs in Japan. Yeah, this one. What? This is the Japanese petroglyph. How? Exactly the same as this one in, in Utah, right? This 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 uh, picture C is the Chinese bronze uh, bronze artifact. How? And the picture B is Egyptian artifact. Yeah, Asian Egyptian artifact. Yeah, and this one, this one I is yeah, off of off of my video in Utah. That's so crazy. Yeah, I, 
already before I I watch that, that video, I've already know this symbol because I know the Chinese uh, 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 aspect, right? Oh, I was like, yes. what? This is the hieroglyphs also. These these symbols too, yes. These like shield sun symbols like this and these mesh ones, I see a lot of these too. Because I I count them. Sometimes they are uh, twelve parts. Sometimes they are thirteen parts. So this is why I think they are depictions of thirteen lunar months. These are everywhere. Yeah, so, summer solstice markers. Yes. This is Have so. Have you ever heard Anubis caves? Oh, this is in Utah too, close to where you live. Not now here, down down below that one. Anubis caves. And then yeah, this, this, this one. Have you been to this place? I don't think so. It's very close to where. This you is live. oh, this is Parowan Gap. Here. This yeah, is the I one place that I, I, I've been to a long time ago. This was before I even knew what I was doing, but I need, I need to go back here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is not very far from my house. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've been there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, we got to go. V, I think we, we have to go so I could show you some of these, like even behind my place and you can just tell me. <laughs> we'll be, we'll film it all, and we'll just go on an adventure and look look at all this. Can you imagine that the the, the patterns here look so similar to to you know to the symbols? So, picture C is uh, Indus Valley symbol. Picture D is Sun Dynasty's character. And it's all the See, same. How similar, how similar they are. There's just there's just no way that they weren't communicating and trading and all. Yeah. You see, see I, the, you see this this patterns, but the, the very in, very ancient powdery scripts. They have these uh, lines and grades and the rigs also. This one is is full of symbols. I've seen. Yeah. yeah. I've seen them very I've similar seen. to this yes, one here. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them too. Yeah, some of them are very high up, like 30 feet up, like on a ledge. Like I have no idea how they got up there. This is amazing. You see the, the, the leaf ones in the uh, Asian pottery uh, uh, scripts everywhere in Asian China, in uh, West Asia, you know? But here in America, we, we see these symbols everywhere too, right? Everywhere, yes. Do we know what these what these leaves symbols stood yeah, for? I, what yeah, they I, meant? I have a theory because they put these symbols on top of the deity's head, you know? Right. So like the Native American dancing, sometimes they put a plume on, on, on the head, right? I think it's related to something, you know, something secret. Fascinating. You see this thing one uh, also, uh, right? Seven Everywhere. Three, five, four, right? Everywhere. I know. What? So what? What do we do though? Because there are a lot of people when we say these carvings could so have to do D, with um, picture D and uh, so you can you scoop up a little bit. Yeah, picture D and E are Indus Valley symbols uh, on the Indus Valley seal. Okay, you see the same thing, right? Yes, exactly the same. And this is also an ancient Chinese character, Sun Dynasty's character, meaning meaning uh, king or, or jade. People are going to be really excited about all this information or it's going to upset them, huh? Yeah, a lot of people are upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I make a lot of uh, people upset, you know. I don't care. <laughs> The whole project that I have going with my friends like Roger and Colleen is like, we want to work with you. And the idea is that we're all dropping our different cultural backgrounds and racial differences and everything. And we're just focused on like, what is the truth behind all this? And the truth is, is that the ancient petroglyphs show that we're all connected, that we all shared culture. And then and, and, and thousands of years ago, we all had the same sacred symbols and it was tied to the stars and the earth. And we all, uh, in a lot of ways, were the same. Yeah, the more I do research, the more I tend to believe so. 
you see the symbol, the picture A is Sun Dynasty is a character. You see wow. it everywhere here in America too, right? Everywhere. So picture, yeah, picture D is taken from a book which compare Asian Sumerian uh, scripts with the Asian Chinese scripts. You can see this symbol meaning great. What does um, what does you mean? You, um, you? yeah, because uh, you know Chinese language. The 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 features of Chinese language is that we have the same pronunciation, but it represents of many many different characters with the mm. same uh, pronunciation. Okay, and the different forms. Yeah, I see this all over. Yeah, but uh, you see picture F, these two symbols are put uh, next to our deities. So I, I think this is also in Asian Chinese language, this symbol means uh, jade, means king. So I think that th this uh, group of uh, symbols are related to the uh, king's titles or deities' titles. Wow. It's related to something mean, meaning great. So amazing. Yeah, you, you have you seen this symbol here? Yes. In the types, right. So these yeah. are all the symbols excavated uh, on the pottery in China or uh, uh, West Asia. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Oh, it does now. See, this, uh, uh, a picture D and the E are seen in the Valley Seals. They put this symbol next to a deity, you know. So I so this is why I think it's also related to the king's titles or deities uh, titles. These are in these are in the Indus Valley. Indus Valley sales, yes. Wow, I see this yeah. figure everywhere. Yeah, Indus Valley, uh, ancient Indus Valley civilization are closely related to something here in America for sure. Well, yeah, I see these all over. Look, we're side by side, even. Yeah, so I've seen a lot of similar um, symbols uh, here in American Patriots uh, and can also be seen on Indus Valley seals. This is the one I was saying that I get told is moccasins a lot. Right. It's I don't very know. hard to tell. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. You see the, the you see the same symbol on the Indus Valley pottery and uh, here in Nevada. <laughs> here, that's crazy. Oh, yes. this 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 character, sometimes this character meaning shaman. But you see this symbol everywhere. So picture B is uh, in, in Vinca, European Vinca uh, culture. It's uh, the, the oldest uh, European culture. Yeah, you see this symbol, right? It's it's dated between six seven to six uh, six thousand six thousand seven hundred to six thousand years ago. It's the six early thousand. Time. Yeah, six thousand seven hundred years ago. The uh, European Vinca culture. There's entire boulders in Nevada that are covered with this symbol here. And even right behind my house, I can within 10 minutes get there. And there's this, this yeah, purple, the, the, purple the, one on here. On this picture, they are all symbols, signs excavated from uh, European Vinca culture, the oldest uh, European culture. 6,000. You compare picture, okay, compare picture C and picture A, compare these two. Uh, you see that the, even the angles, you know, a little bit you know, cute, right? So the, how similar they are. They're exactly the same. Yeah, this is Asian Chinese character, meaning shaman. <laughs> meaning the wizard shaman. And it all has to do oh, yeah, with... Shaman, uh, the, this is the meaning of um, um, this Sun Dynasty character, and and all has to do with the the uh, the bird shaman and the bird feet and the symbols of the bird going around the the North Star and the Have same. Have you been to the File Valley Valley of File in Nevada? I haven't been B there yet either. There. This one's so been I've there. Been there. I've been there. You see, uh, the picture A is uh, is a uh, Chinese Asian Chinese character, Sun Dynasty character, meaning four corners, 
So you see how thin they are <laughs> compared to the pentagrams. Exactly. And then they anthropomorphize them and they, they'll put hands and fingers and toes on these ancient symbols as well. It's amazing. Oh, the, uh, the Hui and Huan. You, you, you have seen this symbol everywhere, right? Yes. Returning means. Yes, everywhere. Picture B and C uh, are petroglyphs in Mexico. All the other are petroglyphs in America, Southwest. Yes, I see these dual so they spirals. Are, they are very dominant uh, signs, uh, symbol on Chinese bronze vessels. They are, the tons of bronze vessels excavated in China. So this is a symbol, a dominant symbol um, you can see on Chinese bronze vessels. It's incredible. Yeah, this, oh, one, right? this one everywhere. Every yeah, single is, page in this yeah, document. Egyptian, this is Egyptian hieroglyphs. You can see this symbol in Asian uh, European Vinca culture and everywhere in American Southwest uh, as well. Yes, this all right behind my house everywhere. These It's an incredible amount of work that you've put into this way. Is very, very interesting. This is a uh, um, uh, Egyptian, ancient Egyptian number 10. Okay. And huh. also Indus Valley is number 10. So I think Indus Valley uh, learned from ancient Egypt because ancient Egyptian is earlier than Indus Valley civilization. So exactly, I saw this symbol uh, at a valley of fire in Nevada here <laughs> <laughs> how crazy it is it's so crazy uh-huh yeah every single page has got symbols on here that i have seen and i know you know picture a is a powdery uh, site uh, 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 at least they did this eight thousand years ago eight thousand years ago what so they in, may uh, have West been Asia, West Asia. Yeah, I think it's in Iran. And then picture C in this valley. <laughs> How so for for like 10,000 years there's there was like global tr trade and and culture. Oh, global migration too. And global migration and they just they write it in the history books and they try to just oh, say you that, see this one is our ancient egyptian uh a hieroglyph and picture b you know where is picture b it's very close to you <laughs> have you this, been there this is very yeah very close to me this is all right up uh there i've seen this one all over southern utah you you know where is picture c is in vietnam this is in vietnam Yes. What? So, Asian Egypt, Egyptian hieroglyphs, and also American petroglyphs and the Vietnamese petroglyphs all have this same symbol. This is a Warner Valley as well, where the other one was. It's very close to Magic Mesa. I yes. think they are taken by myself. This one's by Magic Mesa. Uh, not, not far away. Yeah, uh, I cannot remember the name of this canyon, but uh, I, I remember it's not far away from Magic Mesa. Because I went to the uh, Magic Mesa after Magic Mesa, I, I I went to this place right away. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch all this around there. That... Egyptian uh, hieroglyphs meaning underworld, underworld. Underworld. That's what this one yeah. means. Oh, you wow. see, this is. Uh, a symbol excavated from the West Asia. I think it's in I Iran or Iraq. But you see, the, you, I, 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 I bet you've seen similar ones here in American Patriots, right? There's, yeah, there's the, the one canyon that I keep saying. I did a whole I did a whole YouTube series. Let's see, where is it? Well, you go to playlists. There's this one, Secrets of the Giant Serpent Canyon. This This entire playlist here is all videos that go up that have 
tons of these symbols. Ton, everything that you're showing in this document, that canyon is full of it. Yeah, can, can you imagine it's a, a pottery symbol in West Asia? Yeah, you see a lot of similar ones here in America too. A centipede. Wow, and it represents the underworld. Is that not this one? That one, okay. No. This this one, I have I have no idea about this meaning, but I guess the. Oh, yeah, this, this one is underworld. Yeah, yeah, this, this is the underworld this, symbol. Yeah, underworld. Gotcha. But, uh, they, they depict a lot of uh, meanings of Asian Egyptian hieroglyphs already, right? Um, right. So according to them, this symbol means underworld. Gotcha. Yeah, this one. Oh, hold on, hold on. Um, you see the uh, picture A? Can you take a look at picture A? So uh, on the, uh, you see the leaf look like a, a symbol here in the table. In picture A. Which one? Uh, down, down, down. Uh, yeah, this one. Have you seen the similar petroglyphs here? Some. Yeah, this is uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs. I think I, I seen something similar here too. Yeah, very similar ones. Ones like this, I see a, I see a lot yeah, of this. Exact, yeah, zigzag a lot. Yes. Three branches, yeah, and there's the squatter man. Uh, so the picture A is a plate excavated from Gobekli Tepe, it's dated uh, 10,000 years ago. <laughs> Gobekli Tepe, okay. Yeah, but this one on the, on the right is Chaco Canyon. Chaco. Mm -hmm. And Chaco Canyon, they've got archaeologists have lined up the petroglyphs, and there's alignments that go hundreds and thousands of miles to match with other locations and other settlements and so i mean they must have had this into a whole mapping system that they could travel travel yeah. by yeah so this is the sound and its character uh, meaning royal so uh the table A and the, the, this table, this sound and this characters. The 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 petroglyphs is the petroglyphs in Nevada. <laughs> yeah. With the with the sound king's titles, um, together. Wow. Yep. So, I this is a black black little black mountain. This is that little black mountain. Yep. Yeah. In fact, I have a, let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, I, I tried to visit it there, I think last year, but the, the, um, the road is blocked when I was there. Yeah, they, it, they fixed it. I just went back out there a little bit ago they and they already did, fixed it, right? And but they when did I fix was it. there, I wasn't able to get there because uh, they blocked the road. I'm going to pull up a page here really quick. This is, uh, I got to go home. Let's see. One second. I have a, a 3D representation of that one. Here, we'll go back to this symbol really quick. You see the uh, picture B is also a picture in Utah. I I took it from a, another person's YouTube channel. Uh, this one looks very old, right? Yes. Because the colors are almost the same as, uh, you know, rock. I can't find that. I was going to pull up a, a, they are the same color. Yeah, so you when you have the, the desert so varnish. What do you call it? it they call it desert varnish here, but yeah, it's kind of like a patina. It's just where the where the colorization of the minerals of the rocks come out, and then the sun cooks it on there. Usually, the darker the color is, I mean, means the, the older the petroglyphs yes. are, right? Yeah. So, so the, the darker and the more worn in. This one's like this very, old. very old. Very old. Oh. I, I guess it's like at least eight to nine or 10,000 years old. 
Wow. A very old one. Yes. You see, the, the pictures say is bronze the artifact ex excavated from China. You see the three bars on top of the head and the, and the and the arms. You see the same posture here, like the patch graves. Yeah, I just I just did a whole three D scan of this boulder of this one. I, that's what I was going to try to find. I didn't have the link ready, but yeah, there's a whole three D scan of that boulder going all the way around it and. It is like a total mapping system that points the other boulders at Little Black Rock Mountain. There's lines that point off. And if you follow them in a straight path, they take you right to Magic Mesa. So they're like all connected like a big migration, like a map. But yeah, I've seen these all over the place too. Those are 8,000 years ago, you said? No, I my guess, picture B. I feel like picture B is very old. Yes, me too. Yes. Right? The desert, yeah, but the desert varnish. Maybe, maybe three to five thousand years old. But picture B looks really old to me. Yes. It's amazing how you've been able to match all these up. Oh, wow. You see, this is a bronze uh, hand excavated from the Sun Dynasty's capital ruin, okay? Um, they have an eye inscribed on this hand. You see, the picture B is the, the scripts on this hand. Yeah. But in, in the, at the site in Albuquerque a National Monument, I see very, you know, we've seen a lot of uh, hand, uh, hand print uh, petroglyphs, but uh, uh, I barely see something like this hand, right? But this right. hand looks very similar to this uh, Sun Dynasty hand. And also at the same site, I've seen the uh, King's titles, Sun King's titles and the Sun Dynasty's uh, characters. And doesn't the uh, doesn't the, the eye and the hand, I don't remember what the symbolism of that is, but doesn't that mean like following the path or something like that or going? Uh, do you know Dr. Greg Leto? He He's a, uh, a scholar who uh, studies uh, an Asian Native American's mom and artifacts. So he wrote a book talking about the eye in the hand. I, okay, I, I talk about this. Yeah, here. Oh, yeah, there yeah, it is. Right there. Right. The eye and hand leading to the sky to the heaven, the path. Because of the... according to the yeah, path, path of souls, uh, Native path American things uh, after they die, their soul going past uh, through. So they basically they think the hand means um, um, uh, Orion. Then the the eye in the Orion means the OG, which is uh, the the path of the soul or the you know something like the portal uh, leading the soul to the back home to in the sky and stuff like that yeah it's beautiful it's so cool and we all shared these same culture and beliefs back in the time back thousands of years ago yeah this is all wow so I, I think a hand print means worship and because uh, uh you we have the uh reading hands uh, uh Asian Chinese characters, and also I have uh, I see the reading hand, the uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs. It all means uh, when you do the you know, when you do the worship ceremony, you reading hands to present to worship. So so this is my theory. I think hand means worship. Yeah. So they, they put the you, you see the they put the Orion in center, and then they put the, all the handprints around the Orion means they, they are worship. All right, uh, uh, I think this is what uh, this patch gives me to me. Yeah. But I have no idea about the footprints. Do you have a theory of, about the meaning of the footprint? Uh, you know, and a, a lot of times the, the hand prints and the footprints have to do with, uh, again, the pathway to the spirit world or to the other side or to the heavens. And oh. so it was like taking the steps and, and connecting with the spirit world. So this was also like follow, it, it follow was the pass follow yes, the steps, follow, follow the, the path. follow the path just like the uh -huh. the eye and the hand there's mm -hmm. the star inside the circle again as well yeah it's all has to do with that spiritual journey and even with the the Navajo and the Hopi the same symbolism it has to do with finding the center place and that's the center place in the sky which was the mm -hmm. north star but also uh, in your soul, and they also meant 
like Chaco Canyon. <laughs> they literally meant Chaco Canyon, but also like your soul, like following the path uh, back to your home in the so heavens. It was center. What was Chaco Canyon like the religion center once I found time for the Asian Native Americans? Yes, it was a, a very big cultural religious center where they didn't live in there. They only did uh Ceremony rituals and ceremony and alignment to the stars and things yes it's a it's a huge mystery nobody really it's knows like what they tem did. temple villages for them it's not like residential place it's like the temple village yes because in Tibet, they have the temple village where uh thousands of uh, uh monks live there you know yes and it was it's considered a completely separated and set aside you didn't live there and they didn't dwell there it was just for the ceremonies yeah yeah and these handprints this is yeah, this how, is how did they put the handprints into the rock i know right <laughs> and it's very big it's like five times bigger than an adult pen yep and those those are all over by Kanab. Those are just like uh, forty five minutes away from my house. We could go there yeah, too and film. Why we need to go there? Because I have a theory, but I need to check it uh, in person first. I know. <laughs> There's a few spots I can take you and show you some exactly like this that are very cool. So you know, picture B is uh, a cave uh, um, in uh, a place very close to Tibet. You see that they have these handprints also, and also they have many ion uh, pipes. It looks like natural pipes, but it's dated like 550,000 years old. Iron pipes, pipe, 150,000 yeah. year iron yeah. pipes yeah. coming yeah. out of the ground? Yeah, it's dated by uh, Chinese scientists. It's not a legend. It's proved by science. 150,000 year old yeah, iron pipes. Yeah, 150,000 years old, these pipes. There are many pipes uh, in this cave, too. Wow. But it's ion pipes. It's not just the, you know, I, I, I don't know if it's man made or it's, uh, it's natural. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so see this Re rebirthing. Yeah. The birth rebirthing woman. Yeah, the mother. So a picture A is a plate excavated from Gobekli Tepe. I think it's 10,000 years old, right? So yeah. picture B is uh, from a, a Neolithic site in China. This one's in, from China? Mm -hmm. I thought this was like Anasazi. It's China. Yeah, very similar. We have very <laughs> similar pottery. Between I thought this was yeah, from New Mexico. Yeah, Neolithic. New Mexico. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Wow. There are a lot of pottery with the, exactly the same patterns, in, and you can find them in, in Neolithic sites in China. It's exactly the same. Oh my gosh, yes. The eagle. Yeah, double headed eagle. Yeah. Dragon. So the, the, the picture on the right is a jade dragon excavated from Neolithic site in China. The, the golden ones in Peru, I think, excavated <laughs> from Peru. This is amazing. V, I can't believe that you put all this together. Oh, this is a site in, in, New, uh, in Mexico, not New Mexico, along the west uh, side, uh, coast side in so we can see the character shaman, the character king, uh, in the picture views. Very, very same or similar to yeah. You see the 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 character king on the bronze ex excavated from China. This was an axe from China. Mm -hmm. Bronze axe mm -hmm. ex excavated from China. With the, with the it, this king. looks like something that you'd find down in Guatemala or somewhere. Yeah, Peru. very similar. Yeah, in, uh, something in uh, uh, South America. 
Oh, you see the you see the you see the uh returning symbol. You see how similar the pectoral leaves. If you compare the the, the pattern on the in the pectoral leaves with the pattern on the a bronze vessel, how similar they are. It's incredible. This is the. I think we reached the conclusion. Yeah, this is. Uh, Oh. <laughs> so fantastic. Oh my goodness. So everybody, first of all, when people watch this, I want, I'm going to put all the links down in the description below so they can go subscribe to your YouTube and I'll find the link so they can go check out your articles and read through the papers. Cause I think this is something that is exciting to me. I go to these locations and I talk to native Americans that are really interested in understanding this. And we're all at the same page where we want to know what our connection is and feel like it's time to see how we all, we all used to know each other. Now we're all coming back to that realization again. We're taught, yeah. in the, we're taught in the history books, like, like we used to live on these different continents completely separated. And then we, you know, Columbus came over and discovered the Americas. All that we, we realize this proves is, is not true. That no. For thousands of years, we've had trade and migration and interacted with each other and even shared the same similar beliefs and customs and even maybe did this similar rituals uh, in the same locations together. I think that's beautiful yeah, and, and amazing. Asian people all over the world all uh, are related to each other way more related to each other than the mainstream um, academia's narrative. Uh, the more I do research, the more I believe so. Yes. Because the evidence shows this way to me. I think so too. So what's what's next for you? You've found all of these connections. Are you, what's the plan? Are you wanting to keep going out and seeing for yourself and taking pictures? Are you, <laughs> like you said, are you publishing a book or what's next? I, I don't know. I it depends on how much I find in the future. Yeah. So this is why I want to check the handprint uh, sites because I do have a theory in my mind already, but I have to check it out in person. Um, I I tried to go there. You know, I, I think it's in January this year, January 2024. I was in uh, that area, but it's so cold. It's snow everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I no way for me to get there alone in this season. I just came back. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't, have, don't go alone. I think it would be really fun to go out with you and we'll have to go out hiking and go to some of these places like Magic Mesa and Little Black Rock Mountain and all that. And we'll film videos oh, yeah. and go yeah, see what we find. This is the, the site with the handprints. I want to check it out. Another site. You, you, do you remember you, 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 I think it's several months ago. You went to a place, you, you filmed there. A giraffe look like a Patrick. And that one's very old. Yes. To me. I can, I, I can want, arrange I want, that one. Yeah. Do that site too. too, too. I, I can take you there happened. too. That's a very secret, a secret spot that's privately owned by a family. And there's a lot there. Yeah. I could probably yeah. arrange to take you there to see. Oh, that would yeah, be really cool. Here. That's yeah, right by my house. <laughs> wow. I, I, I just want to say, so the, why do they have this draft patrons here? Because there wasn't a draft here in America, right? Right. Why do they, they have this patch clip here? Um, so have you been to Nine Mile, Nine Mile Canyon? I've been right by it. Usually I'm going right past it to go up to Skinwalker Ranch in that area, but I'm going this spring. Do you know there is like, uh, uh, um, what's that? This, uh, a, uh, alien spacecraft look at there. Yep. Know? Yeah, I see right. those all over too. Yeah, ones that look like, alien spaceships and aliens and then i see ones that look like uh uh animals that don't belong like giraffes and different things and elephants like uh woolly mammoth and then also um like way older than they should be yeah and so then, this is why i i want to visit a nine mine canyon and uh, yeah 
I've never been there. That'd be really cool. Those ones are quite a ways away. Those are up north, about four hour drive. But we could there's a ton we could go see. I think we should. I think uh we should plan a trip like this spring for you to come up and we'll go to the big ham prints and we'll try and see some of these spots and right behind my my place here. Because I think I'm surrounded. All these a lot of the pictures that you showed, every single one that we went and looked through, I was like, Yep, I've seen those. Yep, I've seen those. <laughs> <laughs> and so we could go trace them all out and just see what you recognize and match it all up. And then we talk with my Native American friends too in the Reindigenizing Minds project and we bring it all together and then it it can become like something where it, it would be hard for anybody to argue it because with with me and you and Roger and Colleen if we all start like presenting this together and helping show people that that it's connected there's yeah, no way the, that they could argue the, their video. So he literally uh, says that the Native Americans uh, had treating, you know, treated with uh, Asian Chinese. Yes. Right. Yeah, and he sees even how a long time ago there's even evidence that there was stone walls and pathways and even big metal meth, megalithic structures. There's giant walls all the way up into Montana and Canada. And there's pathways that go um, through California all the way under the ocean, like they go to Hawaii and across clear to Asia. It's like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I've been to the Montana Megalithic Wall July last year. Oh, no, you the went summer. there? Yeah, I went there. Yeah. It's owned by a couple, but, but uh, you have to book on their, on their website to, to visit that site. I, I've been there September last year, the Magnetic Wall in a Montana. But I, yeah. I know there war in California too, Magnetic Wall in California too. There, there's some in Utah here as well. And I think there's some people trying to get that message out, but it's these, some of these locations, they're so ancient and they're so old that people, they just dismiss it. They don't, they don't realize that it's real. You know, and mm. so it's a big job. You know, yeah, it's, it's it's so hard for me to believe because the first time I was told that uh, somebody uh, had written a book about the Asian Chinese characters found in American pictures, I said, "No way!" You know, <laughs> when I first read that, "No way!" Even the first time uh, after reading, I read that book. I said, "I don't think so." So I said, "Oh, I need to double check." I need to double check. So after. After more careful research, I finally get the same conclusion that yes, they are Asian Chinese characters. It, I, I understand it's so hard for people to believe because uh, you have to do a lot of work to, to finally you convince yourself, right? So more more importantly, the uh, Sun Dynasty characters I found in the pictures here are like uh, 340 years older than the ones excavated from China because the ones excavated from China are uh, dated uh, like uh, 3,200 years ago. But mm. the, the, the king's lineages here I found uh, in the pictures uh, are all the kings who lived uh, three, uh, 300 to 400 years earlier then mm. the, the king's period uh, they excavated uh, in China. So which means the earliest Sun Dynasty character might, might be here in America, not in China. So what how right. amazing it is, right? Which, which way it went. Maybe the native indigenous people here in the Americas were going over to Asia and to China and it was going both directions. I mean, that's... Yes, because they excavated a tomb in Siberia. Then they did the DNA test. They find the uh, they find the Native Americans were actually their ancestors. So which means the people not only came over uh, from Asia to America, uh, they also went back to Asia sign because they wow. made the DNA contribution to um, Asian Siberians. They they did the DNA test because if they did the DNA test, they can tell which is older, which which DNA contribute which one right so yeah. they say oh their ancestors are native americans because yeah. uh, i watched a, i watched a video so uh, um, 
um, I think last year. So the 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 YouTube paid a visit to the island, uh, um, uh, the biggest island uh, in Alaska. Okay, so the the, the native was literally told him that uh, until 1990s, Russian natives uh, visited them by wheel skin boat, not modern boat. They use the wheel skin boat. They can across the street from the Russian side to uh, to the to the island. They wow. they they are same nation. They are same nation. They keep to communicate with each other, visiting each other for a long time until 1990s. So if the modern people can came to visit them them by a wheel skin boat, what are, how difficult it was for Asians, right? Yeah. It's probably been going on for thousands, if not tens of thousands of years. Why why do you think V why do you think they why they don't accept this? Why don't they teach it in history and why don't they share it in school and, and allow I, us I, to I don't know because they said oh after the end of Ice Age it's getting warm, then the, the sea submerged the the, the the bridge between Asia and Alaska. But if you zoom in Google map, you can find there are at least three islands in the in the Berlin's uh Berlin Street. Okay. Yeah. So the, the 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 nearest island is like less than 20 miles from the Russian side. It's so easy it's for so people easy. To swim by boat, right? It's yeah. it's a piece of cake. Why do you think people can never come over here after the bridge was submerged by the sea because the, these people were fam are famous for uh, whale hunting. They follow yeah. the whale. They are very good at, uh, you know, uh, uh, hunting on boats. And even think of this too, in the cultures, when you think of Native American and indigenous people, how they, how they lived nomadically and how they dwelt in, in tents and in the mountains and how they would hunt with bow and arrow, uh, so much of it is very similar to the ancient cultures and the Chinese cultures over there where they hunted very similarly and fished very similarly and lived very similar. And, and the same with uh, even genetically with when you see the long, straight, beautiful black hair and everything, there's so many similarities. Uh, to me, it's obvious that there was thousands of years ago just trading Why? and- I I don't understand why the mainstream academia still keeps telling us, oh, they, 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 are, they, are, they are isolated from the rest of the world after the end of Ice Age. Why? I, I don't understand. They just go there to visit the Alaska natives and say, oh, did Russia people ever visit you in history, right? Such always. A simple thing, right? They always visit them. So why do you think they, they couldn't come over here? Yeah. It's so ridiculous to me. I agree. I think it's amazing. And the work that you've done is inspiring to me. It was super exciting when I finally saw your stuff on Twitter and everything. And I'm going to put <clears throat> all the links so people can go follow you and follow your work. And we definitely need to work together and go out and film some videos. And people need to yeah, see. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready. And, uh, <laughs> I am free at, um, until early April. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, let's figure a time out and we'll line yeah, it up. Let and... me know yeah, when, you are, when you are okay with uh, any time period. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay to go. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, V, for all of this. And I think it's a lot for people. It's going to blow people's minds and be really exciting for all of my audience. And so I'm excited to share them, uh, share all of this with them for sure. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me and finally meet you here. I've been watching your videos for like two years already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I'm flattered by that. Yeah, well, we're going to work together more. I think that you're awesome and everything that you put into this is so, so amazing. I can't wait. Let's go. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going to go out together. And until then, we'll see everybody in the next one. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.